finish. And now Bradley Wiggins, the winner of the Tour de France, is moving Edward Boysenhagen in front of Mark Cavendish. The Sky Train is all set to roll at one kilometre to go. Well, they're inside of one kilometre to go. It's a big battle to try and get into the slipstream of Mark Cavendish. This man who was an Olympic gold medalist in the individual pursuit, Bradley Wiggins, is eating his heart out right now for his teammate behind him. He wants to pay back the world champion, but there's a lead out trying to come by there from Orica Greenedge, and that, of course, was Albacini. Now... now as we go now is the lineup for the finish. It's Edward Boysenhagen and Brent in perfect position, but watch out, Sagan is on the offside as we're heading up towards the final turn. This is a brilliant lead out by the champion of Norway on Team Sky. Boysenhagen, it's a perfect finish for Mark Cavendish. He's brought into the straight so far ahead. It's familiar. The missile is firing and he doesn't get past. Look at his face. He makes it look all too easy, but that is the story of the Tour de France. Has he uh, yeah, Yes, he's clear. Mark Cavendish gets four out of four wins in the last four years in Paris. This is the end of a perfect Tour de France for Great Britain. Sagan would have got second there. The yellow jersey for Bradley Wiggins, the first ever to win for Great Britain. He shakes hands with Michael Rogers of Australia. Behind Wiggins is Chris Froome, who finishes second. It just is all too perfect. This man is very, very special. This is Mark Cavendish here. He's got his uh, full flight on when he comes up to the finishing line. And there's nobody else in the photo there. He puts four hands up to say, four times I have been the winner here on the Champs-Élysées. And that extends his tally of victories on stage.